Recently, in the past decade, the amount of carbon dioxide released into the air has grown a substantial amount. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that traps heat from the sun inside the atmosphere, making the earth warmer than it should be. By burning fossil fuels, we release billions of years of stored carbon into the air faster than the earth can process. Earth takes out carbon dioxide through plants and the oceans. Plants use this process of photosynthesis while oceans absorb it through the surface water. However, when we started cutting down more trees, it gave the earth less of a chance to take out all the carbon. The combination of deforestation and burning fossil fuels led to severe changes in the climate. Climate change has a big impact on oceans and the species that live in them. For example, plankton live near the surface of the ocean and feed off the nutrients that come from deep water mixing with surface water. When carbon dioxide started filling the atmosphere, they started warming up the planet. This led to many glaciers and polar ice caps melting, as well as warmer surface water. Now that warmer water was on top and the colder water was on the bottom, they couldn't mix anymore. The plankton weren't receiving the nutrients that came from the denser, saltier water. These events are contributing to decreased plankton growth, which will then decrease the number of blue whales, shrimp, and jellyfish, who primarily eat plankton. Due to this, salmon growth will decrease since they eat shrimp and jellyfish. People's supply of fish will also decrease as well. It is a chain reaction that all starts with carbon dioxide being released. However, climate change can be stopped. By doing a few simple things like walking or biking instead of driving can reduce the amount of carbon going into the air. Taking shorter showers or turning off the lights can reduce the amount of electricity we use, which is created by burning fossil fuels. Recycling is also a great way to reuse products and not give off carbon. You can even talk to an adult about changing your electricity source to be a renewable energy. So let's destroy climate change before it destroys us.